What's going on everyone, Nathan here bringing you a Team Fortress 2 gameplay and commentary. This video's topic will concern the Calm Angler for the Soldier. And uh, quick note, uh, I know I haven't uploaded for the past two days, but uh, I literally have not been at my computer for 75% of the time of these last couple of days. And uh, now I have a day off from work, so we are going to be playing some Team Fortress 2. And uh, I decided to make a couple of videos, you know, just cause. So uh, yeah, let's move on to the Calm Angler. So way back in the day on my other channel, Ozio Brilliant Zero, when I did my actual first Team Fortress 2 series where I did actual gameplay commentary, uh, called Dusty TF2 actually, I was using the Cow Mangler and I bashed it pretty harshly in my Soldier video simply because I did not use it because at the time it did suck a lot. Now since then, I'm 99% sure it has received some updates, so now it is not as terrible as it was before, and uh, obviously this weapon will probably not overtake the default rocket launcher as the number one rocket launcher to use uh, as Soldier, but I think it definitely could contest for a number two spot simply because um, there's two things that are really beneficial to this rocket launcher. It's the extra rocket, or the extra, I don't even know what you would call it, being it's an alien weapon. Um, but basically, you have five shots, which is absolutely huge. And then the second part is that you can disable um, sentries for four seconds. Now, these are not new stats, but I suppose the focus should actually be more on how its how its cons have been have been um, you know softened a little bit by Valve. Um, I do believe they up the damage a little bit and also they they up the reload speed and uh, I'll get into all of this in a little bit but uh, yeah that's pretty much why this rocket launcher is is not that bad so just as a refresher I will go over the calm angler stats just to remind everyone and uh, if you actually haven't seen the stats on this weapon lately then um, you might be surprised at how it's not that bad anymore so first of all we have the pros on this weapon does not require ammo alt fire a charge shot that many crits players and disables buildings for four seconds it also has a five clip um that's not mentioned in the stats at all i'm not really sure why but then for the cons we have minus 10 percent damage penalty no random critical hits five percent slower reload time deals only 20 percent damage to buildings cannot be crit boosted so I'm going to just go over these stats kind of briefly on each one just because there's so many. So uh, the fact that it does not require ammo is nice, you know, there's nothing really new there being um, the Cow Angler did have this previously. Your alt fire, um, I mentioned this in a previous video, that uh, with the Cow Angler, unless you're disabling a sentry, you should never use your alt fire on this simply because the mini crits and the burn damage simply are not worth uh, reloading the entire thing, the entire five shots, and uh, yeah, that just doesn't do that much damage to be to be worth the entire reloading the five shots and then firing them again because it's just sort of time efficiency does not balance out so definitely don't use that alt fire um minus 10 percent damage penalty so this is the huge or actually um let's just go over both of these stats minus 10 percent damage penalty five percent slower reload time so these are the two stats that i think have been lessened or softened by valve um buffed a little bit whatever you, whatever your choice of word works uh so the minus 10 percent and damage penalty. This, I don't remember exactly what the Calm Angler was. I think it might have been like 20% damage penalty, but um, the fact that it's only minus 10% now is really, really nice because uh, instead of doing, let's say, like 50 damage with the default rocket launcher, you only do 45, and let's face it, 5 damage is not really that much when you're talking about um, a rocket launcher, the Soldier's Primary, that does a lot of damage. So, so 10% um, is not a lot. That pretty much amounts to five damage from like a distanced um, I don't need splash damage, I suppose. Um, a direct hit would be more along the lines of 110 or so. So uh, with the minus 10% there, you're going to be deducted 11 damage. But still, I mean, that that's still 11 damage less. Um, and I totally think that the 10% damage penalty is worth it for the extra shot that you do get, being you do get 5 shots with this rocket launcher. Now, moving on to the 5% slower reload time. This is the biggest... Well, I'm... Let me backtrack there. Um, this is one of the bigger stats that is really about this weapon because if you have five shots, reloading is going to be huge to you. And um, I think before Valve updated this weapon, I think it had a much, much slower reload time, maybe like 20% or like 15% slower reload time. So now it's actually not that bad. I mean, if you, I mean, 
if we're talking 10% as not that big of a percentage, 5% is absolutely nothing compared to the default rocket launcher. So you are trading possibly, let's say, let, let's just say minus 15% penalty for an extra rocket which is uh, definitely worth it in my personal opinion now moving on to the other stance no random critical hits um this is fine if you're playing on a no random crit server i mean crits or uh, random crits are nice when you get them but uh, personally i think they're bullshit anyway so uh, i'm fine with no random critical hits and then deals only 20 percent damage to buildings that's completely fine with me um i don't really use it to destroy buildings buildings that much as soldier anyway i mean when do i really attack an engineer's buildings unless i'm like well if let, let's just say this if i'm facing an engineer's sentry nest i'm going to be using using my alt fire to uh, disable that sentry, so it doesn't really matter um, that I deal limited damage to buildings being I'll be being I'll have that alt fire in my pocket anyway. Now the last con to this weapon is cannot be crit boosted, cannot be crit boosted. Um, it's pronounced that last word there a little bit. Uh, this is completely fine. That just basically means that you can't be crits or uh, you don't get crits when you win the round that's completely fine um if a medic is going to crit somebody i definitely think that they should not crits me anyway even though i i suppose it would be nice if you have five shots in your clip and you get crit boosted that would be nice granted but i don't really think a medic would be losing out on that much if if he just ubered let's say like a demo man i mean if you're going to be ubering somebody for a sentry nest or just to kill people pretty much demo men and heavies are your best bets there so so uh, that's not really that big of a deal. So yeah, in summary, I definitely think that 5th Rocket is worth it, and uh, yeah, that minus 10% damage penalty doesn't really amount to much, and neither does the 5% slower reload time. So uh, those are really not that, that big of a deal, but uh, I do think that that 5th Rocket is definitely good. And uh, I would certainly urge you guys to try this weapon out for yourselves, maybe report back, see, then just tell me, you know, is it as good as I've been using it, or I mean, I don't know, personally, I just have been liking it lately, so I don't know if that's with any anybody else but uh, yeah it's just been really good lately I've been getting more kills with it um, and that fifth rocket always comes in handy you know having one more having one more extension to your magazine is never a bad thing so uh, that will wrap up this video guys thank you all for watching I really appreciate it if you like the video feel free to leave a rating I would appreciate that as well and if you're new to my channel feel free to subscribe for Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentaries I know as of now on my channel I don't have a lot of videos out but uh, if you're new to my channel you might not new that I do have an older channel where I have at least 150 Team Fortress 2 videos under my belt already, so I got quite a bit of experience in that area, and uh, yeah, once again, feel free to subscribe if you're new, and uh, I'll see you all later. Peace out.